In this video I'm going to be considering the different types of angles that there are. Now in a lot of this chapter and what we're going to be doing in future videos uh, to round off the course, uh, it's going to include a lot of things that are having specific names which you need to remember. Um, a lot of that might seem pointless, but that's, you know, that's part of the process. So these represent five different angles, okay, and they're named. Each one of them has a specific name based on the size of the angle. Now this one, okay, the first one, is known as an acute angle. This angle is acute. Some people like to think of it, it's nice and cute and small, okay? Think of it that way. And an acute angle is any angle that is less than 90 degrees. So if you have an angle of 37 degrees, uh, 62 degrees, 85 degrees, these are all acute. Then you get up to the next grade of angle, this one. Now this is a very special one. This is the only one of the five that are represented using a little square in the corner. And that represents a right angle. And a right angle is equal to 90 degrees. Okay, so an angle that is 90 degrees is known as a right angle. Once you get past 90 degrees, okay, then you get onto one that is known as obtuse. This is an obtuse angle. So, this obtuse angles are greater than 90, but less than 180. If they're equal to 180 degrees, then you reach the straight line. But once you go beyond the 180 degrees and you keep bending round, like this, then we know that as a reflex angle. And that covers any angle that is larger than 180 degrees, but less than 360. If you get to 360 degrees, then you've got all the way around. Okay, we don't really count that so much. So, we've got acute angles, right angles, obtuse angles, a straight line, and a reflex angle. 